Alrighty, 13.2B, B2. Okay, first example. Okay, just a little review from 13.2A. Uh, we're going to convert 200 degrees into radians. So if you remember, in order to convert between degrees to radians, all you need to multiply by is that conversion factor. So we got 200 degrees, and we're going to multiply. It's either pi over 180 or 180 over pi. I want to get rid of the degrees. So I'm going to have degrees on bottom because I can write this as over 1. So 1 pi over 180. That way those degrees cancel out, and that gets me to 200 pi over 180. Okay, simplifying that, I can see that those zeros simplify, and then 20 over 18 is going to simplify to 10 pi over 9. So 200 degrees is the same exact thing as 10 pi over 9 in terms of radians. Okay, now go along with that. Find a positive and negative coterminal angle. It's initially given in degrees, so let's do it in terms of degrees. So if you remember to find a coterminal angle, all you're going to do is do a full rotation, either clockwise or counterclockwise. If you remember, counterclockwise is positive, clockwise is negative. So adding three, a full rotation, which is 360 degrees, which is going to get us to 560. That is positive, so there's our positive coterminal angle. Okay, if we subtract... That's going to get us negative 160, which is going to give us that negative coterminal angle. So we have found a positive and a negative coterminal angle. Again, just doing a full rotation from that terminal side of 200 degrees. Okay, so convert 3 pi over 4 into degrees. That's in terms of radians right now. So 3 pi over 4. Again, we're going to multiply. Now I want to get rid of the pi. So pi is going to go on bottom. So we're going to use 180 over pi. Pi's cancel. Okay, now we'll get 540 over 4, which will simplify to 135 degrees. Okay, now find a positive and negative coterminal angle. Now we're in terms of radians, so then you got to think about a full rotation in terms of radians, which is 2 pi. Okay, so 3 pi over 4, we're going to add 2 pi. Now you can think of it as like a fraction. Okay, or, you know, it's 2 and 3 fourths, okay, which would actually end up being 11 fourths. Oh. Okay, because 8 fourths is 2 plus another 3 fourths. Or, let's just go on to the side, 3 fourths plus 2 over 1. We need to have a common denominator, so 3 fourths plus 8 Force 2 over 1 is the same as 8 fourths, which is that 11 fourths. Okay, again, you have your calculator, add them up, math enter enter to get your whole or your improper fraction. Okay, go on the opposite way, subtracting. So I'm thinking subtract 2 pi over 1, which I know 3 pi over 4 minus 8 pi over 4 which is going to give me negative 5 pi over 4. There's our negative coterminal angle. There, 11 pi over 4. That is a positive coterminal angle. Okay, so again, what is the correct drawing of 150 degrees? Okay, so remember, the initial side is always the positive x-axis. Okay, we're going to move from there. So the fact that these start here and are going to that terminal side, that can eliminate those two right there. So we have to start on the initial side. And since it is positive 150, that means we're going counterclockwise. And the only one that does that is C. Now 150 degrees, okay, 90, 180, those are your two, quadrant one, quadrant two. It should be somewhere in quadrant two since quadrant two is going to be somewhere between 90 and that 180 which 150 falls into. Okay, we're gonna look at the unit circle and then we're gonna calculate arc length for this one. Now, looking at the unit circle. Okay, this is something that's just going to help you. Um, gives you a little bit more of a visual as well. Um, now, this isn't something you have to use but if you, you know, memorize it, 
or if you're going into trig, it's going to help you greatly, okay? Now, all it does is break up a circle, okay, into its degree measures in terms of degrees, in terms of radians, and it's also going to help us with evaluating sine and cosine as well. Um, let's use, let's put it in one note. There it is. No, it's not. Okay, we're just going to go back to this one. Okay, so, again, initial side at zero degrees, okay, or zero degrees or zero radians, okay, full rotation, so going all the way around, that's 360 degrees, or two pi. Okay, we move up a little bit, okay, 30 degrees, we broke that down a little bit earlier, okay, we should know that there's 90, okay, we should know that's 180, okay, and again, if you think about it in terms of radians, okay, a full rotation is 360, so a half a rotation around a circle is 180, okay, and if a full rotation in radians is 2 pi, half a rotation would be pi, okay, so then if we go to 90, that's half of pi, okay, or if we look at 30 degrees, you know, 30 degrees, you multiply that by 5, that gets you, sorry, 6, that's going to get you the 180, okay? So then, if you think about it in terms of, like, a pi, okay, you can look at that top half, let's look at the top half that's like one pi so if you break that into six pieces it's going to be pi over six at 30 degrees okay and then if we go to 60 degrees it's like we have two pieces of the pie okay i will actually i'm going to do a separate video on the unit circle we're just going to complete this video with um the arc length okay we'll do a separate unit circle one okay so Find the arc length. What we are going to do is you're going to you're going to do theta or your degree measure times the radius. Okay. Now here's the kicker. Your angle measure has to be in terms of radians. for the way we are doing it. Now, there's a way to do it with degrees. It is a little bit harder though, okay? So, if we look at the first one, okay? Arc length, okay, we got 60 degrees, and we need to convert that into radians. So 60 degrees times pi over 180, okay, and degrees will cancel out. We get 60 pi over 180, which will simplify to pi over 3. So that is our theta. And then we got that radius of 8 feet. Okay, so arc length is going to be pi over 3 times 8, which will be 8 pi over 3. Now, arc length, it's a length. It's got to have some type of me uh, unit. In this term, since it is feet up here, we are in terms of feet. So, the arc length with a, rate, a circle that is has a radius of 8 feet to 60 degrees. So, let's just do a quick sketch. Okay, there's a circle. We got a radius of 8 feet. Okay, 60 degrees, which would be about here. We're looking for this arc length. Okay, so this is about 8 pi over 3 feet. Okay, moving to that next one. It's already in terms of radians, so which is nice. All we have to do is 3 pi over 2 times 5, which is going to give us 15 pi over 2. 
and then this is in terms of centimeters. If you remember multiplying fractions, just right across the top. All right. Okay, just doing another example. Okay, three feet, 150 degrees. So we got a circle that has a radius of three feet. Okay, we got an angle of 150, which would be about there. So we're looking for this arc length right there. How long is that? So we got to figure out theta in terms of 150 degrees. Okay, now one thing that's going to help when I go through this unit circle video, if you understand your unit circle, you're going to know that this is 5 pi over 6 in terms of radians. Okay, again... If you need to, multiply by your conversion factor, pi over 180 from degrees to radians, 150 pi over 180, which will simplify to that 5 pi over 6. Okay, now again, radians times your distance or your radius, which is going to give us 15 pi over 6 which will simplify to 5 pi over 2. Which is, and then we are also in terms of feet. There is our arc length. Okay. Again, when it's already in terms of radians, it's really nice because all you have to do is theta times the radius. 50 pi over 4, which will simplify. They're both even numbers, so 2 goes into it. 25 pi over 2 and it is in terms of centimeters okay again what we're doing here is we got a circle that has a radius of 10 centimeters and it's got an angle of 5 pi over 4 okay which is over 1 so I know that's that angle is about here we're looking for that arc length of right there what is the distance of that and that in this case is that 25 pi over two centimeters all right so big thing to remember with arc length your angle measure needs to be in terms of radians so you need to convert to radians um, if you want to learn the way to use it in degrees again it's a lot harder um, let me know otherwise just theta times your radius in terms of radians. Other than that, have a